God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. Now these are the original Hebrew names. Dad, thank you for your love, your Son, your Holy Spirit, your understanding, your grace, your guidance, your care, and your protection in Yahushua's name. Loving Dad, you made me so you know very well that I am but dust. Yet you have called me into your kingdom to serve you at this specific time for a specific purpose. Despite my ordinariness, I belong to you, and you are anything but ordinary. Dad, help me pour out your grace and compassion upon others that they too may experience the richness of your love. Through me, my Father, show others how you can use an ordinary life to bring extraordinary blessings into the world. In Yahushua's name, I pray. Good morning to you and welcome. I think we left yesterday talking about you reap what you sow. And today I just want to share, I want to share a sowing idea. I just want to talk with you a little bit. And prayerfully, what we will talk about, you will feel it is worthy to share with your family, your friends, and even your enemies. Sowing. Just sharing a sowing idea. Galatians 6, 7. Whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. I ask you, what are you sowing into your life? What are you planting into your mind, spirit, and heart? You are having a quiet time, which is an excellent first step. But are you truly allowing God's truth to take root in you? Are you responding to the opportunities and the challenges he allows with faith and obedience? This is important for you to take seriously because the principle of sowing and reaping directly impacts your future shaping even what you become in eternity. 2 Timothy 2.12 You are reaping what you sow. You are growing either in intimacy with the Father or in rebellion against Him. You are reaping more than you sow. Even the smallest decisions impact the generations after you, whether you realize it or not. Finally, you are reaping later than you sow. The choices you make continue to have either increasingly consequences or accumulating blessings in eternity. Philippians 1.6 Therefore, make sure that you are always sowing what's good and worthy each and every day. Sow faith and obedience to God, because in due time, you will reap an extraordinary harvest if you don't lose heart. Galatians 6.9 Just 
sharing a sewing idea. Father, thank you for your word today and every day. In the name of your son, Yahushua, I pray.